You guys know that I generally try to avoid what I would consider to be negative content, just speaking ill about anything, putting something down, saying that a product is bad or that someone's take was bad. I don't normally like to do this. So when I do address these sorts of things, I try to do it in the most tactful and objective way that I can. And I always try to make sure you guys are clear when I'm talking about something that is my opinion. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving my opinion on what is the future for the Surface Duo line. And unfortunately, this is going to be one of those kind of rare on this channel, negative videos, because frankly, I just don't see how Surface Duo has much of a future anymore. And that is a, a real bummer, as someone like myself who, is, who has been an advocate for Surface Duo for years and who still uses his Surface Duo 2 as a main phone very, very often. I, I'd say about every five or six days, my SIM goes between the Fold and Duo. I bounce back and forth all the time. I still love my Duo 2. So this does not bring me any joy, but these are my actual real opinions. When the original Surface Duo came out all the way back in September of 2020, we had no clue what the world was about to become very shortly after that. Or I guess we were kind of in the main beginning thrust of what was to come, if I'm remembering correctly. When it came out all those years ago, there was really only one other foldable phone on the market that you could buy, and that was the Galaxy Z Fold 1, which had a ton of problems. Now, of course, the Z Fold 2 came out, I think, like eight days later or something like that. So then you had the Duo and the Z Fold 2, two phenomenally different devices, but two devices that were very, very good, and we're just bringing something new to the market. Duo, though, was unique, right? It was, it was a device that was a dual-screen device by design. It wasn't an aftermarket case or anything like that. It was impossibly thin. It looked unique as all get out. It was a very interesting device. About a year later, Duo 2 came out by then, Fold 3 was out, but still, there were only two devices in the foldable space. Now, you may intellectually take Duo and remove it from that space and say, well, Duo is not Fold and Fold is not Duo and they're not competing. However, a great majority of people who bought Duo, and I've spoken to you, I've spoken to you, to you guys and gals, and I'm right there with you, we were deciding between Duo and Z Fold. So yes, they are different. Yes, they do fundamentally different things in fundamentally different ways, but we were deciding between them. So for the sake of this video and, and for what I think makes sense going forward, we're going to compare them. Even if you want to not compare them at this point, say that Duo was unique. It was a one-of-a-kind device. Worst case scenario, it was a two-of-a-kind device, okay? The market was very thin on these sorts of devices. And yes, most people were choosing the Z Fold over Surface Duo, but still... Duo was unique, and it wasn't really competing against very many other competitors at all. And at this point, Microsoft was very invested into the dual screen concept. At one point, not only was there Surface Duo, there was also Surface Neo, a tablet-sized, a laptop-style dual screen device coming as well that they planned to launch with the original Duo. Now, that did not happen, and eventually Neo basically was canceled. There was also in development, pretty far along in development, a Surface Duo Go, basically, a Duo 2 Go, a lighter version with a plastic shell and some stripped down internals that was actually made as well and then canceled. There was also a Surface Duo 3 version, which was fairly far along in development that was a dual screen device as well. So not that long ago, right? Like late 2021, maybe even into 2022, depending on who you're talking to. Although I do tend to think probably 2021 is when the dual screen thing really did die, but that's not that long ago. The dual screen concept was still alive and somewhat well internally with Microsoft, but that appears to no longer be the case as Surface Duo 3 is expected to be a single folding OLED screen. And this always confuses people. I don't mean it's only going to have one screen. I mean that instead of having two screens, it's going to have a single folding OLED screen. There will be a cover display. So there still will be two displays, just not in the way we want it to be. So now we have to ask ourselves, what are the ramifications of switching from two screens to the single folding OLED screen so late in the game. And I think that there will absolutely 
the ramifications. The first thing to consider as far as I'm concerned is what the effect is going to be on those of us who have already bought into the dual screen idea. Some people said it was propaganda. I think it was actually true. But those of us that bought into the idea that two physically different screens make your brain light up in a different way and that it makes you more productive. I believe that to be true. I believe I've experienced it time and time again. We're going to lose that, right? All of us that loved Duo for what it was, that bought Duo and not the Fold because it had two screens, as Microsoft abandons dual screen phones, we may also feel a little bit abandoned. And that might make us not super excited to go buy the next Microsoft phone that we might expect them to abandon a couple of years later as well. Microsoft kind of has a track record, similarly to Google, of starting things and then canceling them. So this is another in that line. Granted, the Surface team doesn't really have that reputation. And technically, Duo is not being canceled. It is simply being turned into something else. But you can take my point. It might kind of sour people that were already the Duo niche. Those of us that were carrying the banner, the flag, for Surface Duo might be pretty put off continuing to do that. As Microsoft chases the mass market, will they be leaving behind their tried and true loyal fan base for Surface Duo? But an even bigger obstacle as they do go for the mass market is the fact that making this change so late means that by the time Duo 3 is out, it is more than likely that the Galaxy Z Fold 5 will be out, the OnePlus V Fold will be out also in North America, and the Google Pixel Fold will probably have been out for a long time in North America. When once Duo was a unique thing, a one-of-two type device, now it might be a one-of-four type device. Competition has gotten and will be getting much, much stiffer. And they're coming about this late in the game, without the benefit of having software that they've built for 10 plus years, the Z Fold has the benefit of being based on software that Samsung has been perfecting for a very long time. Duo does not have that. Duo will not have the features that the Z Fold has. It will not have the features that the Pixel Fold has or that the V Fold has. It will be unequivocally the shakiest of all of these foldable devices. Who is this for? I just don't know. It's honestly unclear to me what the killer feature, what the killer app, the reason you're going to buy this device, what that's going to be. If I'm deciding between buying the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 and the Microsoft Z Fold device, why am I not just buying the Samsung one that is much further along? And honestly, it's probably going to be better in a lot of measurable ways. Yes, Microsoft could bake in some software things. Perhaps they could do something like emulating the dual screen experience on the single screen, and this might sway some people. It would definitely be something very, very interesting to me. But is that enough to sway people over the simulation of dual screens on an automatic basis when you can do it on a manual basis already on other devices? That remains to be seen. I'm going to have to experience something like that to tell you how big of a game changer it actually is. But what I can tell you is that a lot of people on my own channel, and look, if there was ever a channel in the world where I could run a poll or where someone could run a poll that would be favoring Surface Duo 3, it would be this one. My own viewers on this Duo-centric channel are not going in droves to Surface Duo 3. What's your next phone? What's in a tie with the Fold 5 and the Pixel Fold? Six months, eight months, a year ago, this would not have been the case. The Surface Duo community were wearing down, were slowing down, and things are not looking particularly up. Where once, when Android 12 came out, the Duo community was a buzz. The devices had improved so dramatically, and it was really an exciting time. But now it's been so long since we got a new piece of hardware and it's been so long since we got an exciting update. The March update will probably drop right now and will probably be exciting just to make me wrong. But at the time of recording, the March update is not out. 
And it's like I said, it's been so long since there's been something to be excited about. And it's going to be so much longer before Duo 3 is out. We've gone from a simmer approaching boil to a pot sitting on an eye that is turned off. We are cold. We are placid. There's nothing happening. And that's just not how you keep people invigorated. People are seeing the leaks about the Pixel Fold, the Z Fold 5, and they're excited. And they're looking at their duo with the bugs it still has and the features that never came. And they're thinking, do I want to invest in a Duo 3? Do I want to wait another, what, 6, 8, 12 months for a Duo 3 when the Pixel Fold's going to be out in a couple of months? Seems like people are favoring jumping ship at this point, and that is concerning, albeit totally understandable. Now, it could be that Microsoft is just playing a very long game with Duo 3, Perhaps it's not even called Duo 3. Perhaps it's going to be positioned as a brand new device, and perhaps they're going to launch it alongside a traditional slab-style phone, and it's going to be the Surface Fold and the Surface Phone, and they're going to totally relaunch, and we're going to wipe the slate clean, and the Duo community is just going to be totally irrelevant, and they're just going to fully go for the mass market and hope that nobody even remembers Surface Duo was a thing. Honestly, if I'm them... It's probably what I'm going to try to do. Put a pin in that and come back to this video in 18 months and tell me if I was right about that. But I think that there are still problems with that, right? Because if you do that, if you wait and wait and wait, the longer you wait to enter the race, the further behind you are. Because if you launch your phone eight months after everybody bought a Pixel Fold or a Z Fold 5, there's no one left to buy your phone, okay? And I know that you know, more people come in to buy all the time. So, you know, at a certain point, it just is irrelevant. You just launch whenever you feel like launching. But you definitely don't want to launch your first foldable after everyone has launched theirs. You wanted to do it before in Microsoft. You've missed your window of best opportunity. You can see this from the way I can see it from one of two different ways. Microsoft either bet on the wrong horse with dual screen and were far too slow to recognize it and to get off of that horse and find a new horse. Or they bet on a potentially winning horse and just didn't actually try all that hard and then eventually abandoned it to move on to another thing that they're going to half you know what and probably not do very well in. Also, I kind of think it's that one. I kind of think that dual screen could have worked if you had have actually marketed it at all and pushed it and actually put resources into fixing the bugs and didn't have such a small service duo team. I don't know, like put some of the heft of Microsoft behind the product. I think it probably could have been pretty darn good, but you didn't do that. You didn't get much of a reaction, but of course you didn't because you never were with what you were doing. So now you're going to abandon it and move to a new space that is now going to be even more crowded than it was before. And it just, it doesn't make sense to me. And I do not have a ton of optimism for Duo 3 or whatever it might be going forward. I don't think it's going to have anything to do with Duo, frankly, I just don't think it's going to be a Duo. I think it's going to be another folding OLED phone. I think it might be the worst of the four. This is pure speculation. But based on what we've seen on Duo and Duo 2, why would I why would I imagine that Duo 3 trying to compete directly with Z Fold is going to do anything but take one on the chin and get knocked unconscious? I just, I can't see any other way around this. But that's the beautiful thing about opinions, right? Everybody's got one. You've heard mine. You can sound off in the comments down below with almost all certainty, unless they announce this thing and it has absolutely no differentiating features at all. I'll probably still end up with one because I'm going to want to cover it here on this channel for my viewers. And so I'll probably still have one, but I can't sit here and tell you that I'm like wildly excited about it. I'm not. I'm excited about the Pixel Fold. I'm excited about the Z Fold 5. I'm excited about the OnePlus V Fold. I'm not particularly amped about Duo 3 or whatever it might be. We're going to need to start seeing some leaks or something. Let's get something going. Let's get a big Duo update. Let's get some, some sort of excitement into the Duo world. Again, I am begging you, Microsoft, please give us something to be excited about. I don't like feeling this way, guys. So let's have that conversation in the comments down below. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button before you go. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.